Hello everybody, it's On the Farm with Sue and Jen. I'm Jen. So I have Thelma and Louise. And they are eating cilantro. This is one of their favorite, but we have to like limit it to with romaine. They love romaine. But it's hard to see, but sometimes they'll get a piece and they'll kind of like fight over it. They're not fighting. I just want to clarify that. They'll like tug on it and um, she's going to get annoyed. When I flip her around. Nope. She wants to be a certain way. She's like, don't touch me. Hi, Louise. Now they're going to act like they're hiding. Is it good? Do you kisses? You give kisses today? Oh, thank yous. I think so many people think guinea pigs just like outright bite, you know? And, um... They, they, they don't. They're very kissy. Like, they love to give kisses. Let me find you some... What? What are you getting upset about? Okay, so Louise has a piece of romaine. And they literally eat it like spaghetti noodles. I think it's so adorable to watch. It might me take. Let me eat some. Here. Here it goes. love cilantro, but they've already had other veggies this morning, so they're just getting to enjoy some cilantro with cuddle tags with mom. Hi, do we clean your poops out of your cage this morning? She goes, I might want it, ma. <laughs> what? Because Louise isn't fighting? Oh, well, Louise, let's not poops on it. You guys ate a bunch. Is it good? He's just like, I'm gonna go explore. Tell me, say, see you later, alligators. Where are you going? There's nothing over here. No, I've had my guinea pigs about a month, and we've done some serious bonding in this month. I'm gonna get Louise up here. And, um,. It's just so awesome to, like, see them bond with me. Oh. Elma's eating one like a spaghetti noodle. <laughs> oh, she says I'm done. I'm full, Mom. She ate a lot this morning, actually. Where are you going to go, Louise? And, um, some of my dogs, like, seriously have bonded with the guinea pigs. Like, Elizabeth, she's sleeping, but normally she's right down here with them. And she plays with them. And, of course, I'm always monitoring. So don't think, like, oh, my goodness, she just let you dogs. No, it's not how it works. Um, monitoring the scenario is important to me. So, Thomas says, yeah, let's get a pet. You want a pet? Mm hmm Cuddle girl. Oh, she says, oh, scratch me in the ears. Ooh, that feels good. So Thelma's hair is a lot shorter than Louise's, as you can see. Like, there's a mega difference. And I don't know if there's a difference in age, because unfortunately, we didn't get to find that out. They, like, don't tell you. And so, but I don't really care based on the hair. I just love them. Louise says, give me pets, moths. And they don't like having their butts touched, which that's normal. I just enjoy them so much. I definitely go through a lot more um, vegetables than I thought I would. I thought they'd eat less than they do. They eat a ton. Like the first week I had them, they didn't eat very much vegetables. They ate like a lot of their pellets and hay. But now they've really increased their vegetables. They're still eating a ton of hay. And, um, so, yeah. We don't waste very many vegetables around here. I mean, some, like, if I, I feed them in the morning and at night, sometimes, like, the middle of the day if they're out and stuff. And, um, like, if they have vegetable overnight, they don't get, I don't, I clean that out the next morning because I don't want them eating rotten veggies. 
that's like bolted and all that so they just got so much to say this morning they're very social like they talk non-stop someone goes i might eat more i'm thinking about it we were for a while they give them a ton of romaine because that's all they eat they really opened out their variety all of a sudden they still don't like cucumbers they still don't like like zucchini or summer squash um, green peppers they'll eat a little bit of, but not very much. So it just depends upon, you know. But we still offer it to them just because sometimes they change their mind. So. I just love having them so much. Like, Louise is very comfortable. As you can see, she's laid out. They're just relaxed. Like, they really bond with you and they know. They they yet don't come to my voice, but that, of course, will take time. I am working on saying, Thelma and Louise, it's time to eat when they're eating. So they learn, oh, we can come when it's time to eat, you know. But, you know, that takes time. It's kind of like training any animal. Right, Thelma? At first, Thelma was really the only one who like was interested in me oh I startled her but Louise has really opened up and Louise loves to give kisses so does Thelma but like a change in personality they're just so talkative I have been peed on <laughs> I've also been pooped on <laughs> But it's just part of owning a guinea pig. You know, I can shower. It's not the end of the world. So. But. And I really watch what they're eating. Because the first sign of them being sick is they don't eat or drink. And so, like, I'm all, we're always on top of that. So, like, and if I'm sleeping in, my mom will get them out. That's so awesome. So. And they love running around our couch. I put them on my bed, too. Like, when I'm doing my devotional and all that in the morning and um <clears throat> they just love running around so they're gonna fall asleep probably now guinea pigs do sleep with their eyes open you see how i startled her she's in moss but some do some don't most of them sleep with their eyes open oh she has some more cilantro but there's a fuzz ball there She's like all annoyed with me. And he says, I'm gonna eat more. And the first week I got her, she kept sneezing. Come to find out she's allergic to the perfume I was wearing. So like I made sure I don't wear anything with perfume on it. Um around them because I always obviously I don't want them getting sick. Like I'd be so devastated if they got sick. Obviously I'd take them to the vet, but I just don't know how I could do. So, you just got so much to say. So much to say this morning. A cilantro needle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is maybe. I love when they do that. I think it's the cutest thing. See how Louise are. They sometimes like try to steal each other's food, and I just think it's funny. <laughs> they love to be like hand fed. You want it, Louise? We probably go to Walmart once a week to get them vegetables that stay fresh, like obviously carrots last. A lot longer, but we buy this great big thing of um, lettuce and stuff in it. Like, that's good for them. And then cilantro. I do get parsley once in a while, but it's something they shouldn't have all the time. By the way, that's Anna girl because Tally wants her bone. Sorry. And so, um, carrots. They love carrots. Like I said, they have some peppers. Um, they get. They love apples and pears, but they only get that once a week. They can have it twice a week, but I just don't want to overfeed them and get them diabetes. Like, so, um, and then 
they're kind of about the same food, but I try to introduce new food. And so, but they, cilantro was introduced like a week ago and they go bonkers for it. Normally, this is about what they leave. Now you gotta realize I gave them a bunch, but they'll nibble at it while they're sleeping or cuddling. They're like, it's cuddle time with mom. So... But you guys, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoy. If you're new, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Please leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you all later. Bye now.